Hello, painting peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. I am happy you're here, and you know I'm happy to be here as well. Hey, a quick shout out. Look what I got in the mail today. You people touch my heart. Painting peeps touch my heart. Fellow artists touch my heart. But look at this. This is a poured water bottle and it has a wonderful finish on it. And I don't know if you can see that. Cause Creations, the no bra zone. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with this. This came from Sweet Tammy from TSR Creations. We did a collaboration oh, a few videos back and she was such a joy to work with and she sent that to me with a lovely card. Uh, Tina, you, you are Tina Sacco, TSR Creations. You are a sweetheart and I thank you from the tip of my toes to the top of my head. Yeah, make me smile, girl. Hey, let's talk about what we're doing. We got a 20 by 20 canvas here. It's a gallery wrap canvas, and I don't know where I put the label. It's a uh, artist loft, 20 by 20. And I'm doing round two, uh, a test run for a commission piece that I told you all about. A paint and peep reached out, and her colors are blues and yellows, and uh, I incorporated a little brown in uh, the last test piece, and um, I like it, but I'm not so sure it would suit her. Let me let me show you that piece. It's dry, but it still needs its uh, isolation coat, and it needs its uh, uh, gloss varnish, and then I finish things usually with a satin varnish. But um, I'm digging on this painting, and she can certainly choose from it if she wants, but I'm going to give it a little another go not using the brown. Let me go ahead and put this down. So our base coat, guys, is already down. It is a mix of Artist Loft Flow Acrylics in the white and bare satin enamel white house paint. My pouring medium, I'm kicking it up a notch. Um, I've been fiddling with pouring mediums, and my pouring medium is one-third Floetrol, one-third Golden GAC 800, and one-third Liquitex pouring medium. I've done a few paintings using it. They've dried beautifully, so I'm going to keep at it for a while, just kicking it up a notch. So one-third Floetrol, one-third Golden GAC 800, and one-third Liquitex pouring medium. A lot of people ask me, Kathleen, what's the deal with GAC? Well, I always tell people go to the source. Google it, go to the Golden website, because GAC does a lot of wonderful things. Um, it leaves a nice gloss. It, um, it's archival, so you don't have to varnish your paintings if you don't want to, but it helps tremendously with cracking and crazing. So go to the source, go to, go to the Golden website. They have a wonderful website with all kinds of information on it, um, what Golden GAC 800 does. There's also GAC 100, GAC 200, GAC 300. They're all used for different things and they all make different things happen. So go to the source, Golden, um, Golden uh, website. That's what I suggest. Let's talk about our colors here. A lot of the similar colors, but I added a few extra ones in as well. Now my colors, are the same consistency as my base coat. They're relatively fluid. They leave a little bit of a mound on a mound. Now I'm gonna be doing a multiple um, traveling ring pour for this. And um, they're a little more fluid than I usually like them, but you know, I'm fiddling, I'm playing. What do we have here? Huh? What do we have here? Oh, that is our Golden's Pains Gray in the Fluid Acrylics, mixed with the same pouring medium as my base coat. 
This is a pretty color right here, pretty shade of blue. It's in a pillow picture that she sent me and I promised to post the picture of that pillow because I forgot to post it on the last video. It's one of the things I'm working off to get uh, this paint and paint the right colors. That right there is a Deco Art Sky Blue Topaz. This is a very pretty color, guys. But I added about a tablespoon of the satin enamel to it just to lighten it up a little bit and to see what it does. Hey, we're playing, we're experimenting, we are having fun. This is uh, one of my favorites, but you hear me say that all the time. This is Treasure Gold by Folk Art, and this is their blue topaz. But look at the shimmer in that, guys. That's yummy. That's certainly yummy. One of my favorite paints right here, Deco Art Metallics, and that is their pewter. Needed to add a little bit of water to get this, this down to the consistency as the other paints because it is a heavier body paint compared to the fluid acrylics and um, the other deco art paint that I used. Now you saw me use this and I'm down to the last of it. This is Sweet Christina Welsh from Porridge Posse Paints and this is her Christina's Laguna Shimmer and that is absolutely beautiful but I needed to tone the yellow down a little bit to match my client's pillow and I added a little bit of the golden fluid acrylics and the titanium white. What I do guys is I start off with my main paint, I put my pouring medium in, I mix it up really super good and then I decide if I need to alter that color a little bit and at that point I added the golden titanium white just a tiny little squirt at a time because the golden fluid paints are very high pigmented and if you add a lot your color's totally going to change now this color right here is pretty but i'm on the fence about it everything else is kind of muted and soft and this guy's got some boldness to him so i'm not sure if i'm going to use him that is a started off with arteza the uh, cerulean blue mixed it up with my pouring medium the color wouldn't quite right so i added to it the uh, modern masters metallics venetian blue but it's a little bit too in your face blue so i'm not sure if i use i'll use it if i do i'll probably use very little so i'm going to go ahead and put some tunes on <laughs> because it's my jam and I'm going to put some music on for you. I'm going to get uh, dancing around, get our cups ready, and we're going to play, guys. Wish me luck. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're happy. Hope you're well. Till my heart gives in, I will do 
But no matter 